Good morning. Whoa, no, hang on. Good morning. It's day two of my time in England and it's a much better day. I'm not as exhausted. I'm still a little jet lagged, but it's okay. We are going on the ultimate roll doll. It's the word pilgrimage today. We're going to take the trains like he took to get to Great Messenden. We're going to go to his museum, visit his grave. We're going to go to all sorts of cool things today. So I am very, very excited. be able to hear me. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm kind of just following the signs. And I need to cross the street yet again. I'm super early. My ticket is for like 11 a.m. and it's not even 10 yet, but oh well. That's alright. We'll figure it out. So I took the train from Marlebon, I think is how you say it, to Great Missenden. And then there were signs right at the train station to get to the museum, so we're gonna go find it. So I'm just following signs. It's a busy road. I keep seeing museum parking signs and finding parking lots. So hopefully we're on the right track. This street kind of just ended at a roundabout with no walkways. So I think I took a wrong turn. I only took one turn, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. We'll figure this out. I asked some nice ladies on the street for directions and I just didn't go far enough. I turned when I should have gone straight. I followed the signs to parking instead of to the museum, so let's do this. So I'm meandering down the streets because now I know I'm on the right track, so I'm just taking my time. I found it. This giant truck is driving really close to me. There it is in all its glory. I made it. I am across the street from the Roald Dahl Museum and Story Center. It was actually really easy to get to. So out of the train station in Great Missenden, you just come out and you take a right and just keep going and you'll find it. It's hard to miss. So I'm gonna go over and see if they'll let me in early because I'm here. writing hat and there's like nobody else in the museum so I'm all by myself here this is amazing I'm so glad I got it when I did that I'm here early this is fantastic she's very soft on the eyes this dark green I wanted this thing at exactly the right angle for writing so I put a roll of corrugated paper under here and I kept making it bigger or smaller till it was dead right and so all in all when I am in this little place it takes a little while to get in and out of but once you're in you're there and it's lovely and there's no aches or pains or anything and you can lose yourself in your work it is my little nest my womb but this is Roald Dahl's actual writing hut where he wrote all of his stories it's just been transported to the museum, and obviously, <laughs> I'm not allowed to touch it. This is so cool. So, we have a couple items of note here. This is Roald Dahl's head of his femur. It had been removed when he had a hip replacement, and he kept it. And then this is a ball of chocolate foil wraps that he would always put the foils together into a ball. It's so cool. And his pencils over there. There's so many cool things. Addendum. This jar right here and some of his spinal shavings from his surgery. And then over there, those are parts to the valve that he helped create for hydrocephalus.
So we're heading up to the churchyard where Roald Dahl is buried. It's just beautiful and green, quiet and peaceful, and slightly uphill. We have tears in our eyes as we wave our goodbyes. We so loved being with you, we three. So now and then, come and see us again, the giraffe and the peli and me. Thank you, Mr. Dahl. So I am wrapping up my day at the Roald Dahl Museum and Story Center. It has been so much fun. My favorite thing was definitely Roald's riding hunt. That was the coolest thing by far. On my way back to the train station, I'm gonna stop off at a couple other spots that um, they pointed out on the map, so you'll see all that in the next couple of minutes. I also spent way more <laughs> than I should have in the gift shop. So I'll show you some of what I got. There's other people around, that's why I'm being kind of quiet. All in all, I think I did pretty good. I only bought one book, so like, it wasn't too bad. And that book was The Glorumptious Glor... 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 Glory... Gloriumptious. That's how you say it. Gloriumptious World of World Doll. And it's a book about his stories. <gasps> there's bubbles. I'm sorry, there's bubbles floating by. There's things about his stories, but then there's also these little, like, inserts with extra things. So it's kind of like a cool little scrapbook. And I'm pretty excited. Oh, look, 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 look. There's the peach, and then you open up the peach and all the characters are there. How cute is that? Um, I didn't buy any of his actual like stories because all the ones I wanted are available on Amazon, so I'm just gonna get those. And I decided to spend my money here on things that I couldn't get in the other places. And I'm sorry, I keep looking up at the top because I'm not used to this camera. I gotta keep reminding myself to focus here, so I will get better, I promise. Then I got some stickers that I'm going to put in my journal on the pages that I'm writing about this trip in because I think that would just be Fun. I think that'd be a cool thing. I also got a postcard of the things on his desk. There are some cool things. You saw his actual desk, as did I, and I just really like that part. So the post office is one of the stops on this, so I might stop in there and mail this home to myself. That might be fun. My family will get it and think, what the heck? Actually, no, they won't. They know me. Then, oh, this one's really cool. This is going to be in like all of my videos from now on. It's going to hang on or near my bookshelves. It's a metal sign from Matilda that says, I'm wondering what to read next. How perfect is that? That is like, it's perfect. I got a lot of Matilda things because Matilda's my favorite, as you know. So I got a tote bag. What do you want a flaming book for? And then it's got Matilda on the other side. I got bookmarks. Oh, I didn't notice there's things on the back. There's activities on the back. I didn't even notice that. Then I've got a pin. Some of the things I collect when I travel are pins, magnets, and postcards. So I didn't really like any of the magnets they had. I mean, they were all cute. They were all just like drawings from the stories, but I wanted one that said Roald Dahl Story Center. So I got a pin instead. I also got some chocolate. These are by Rococo Chocolates. I guess the main chocolatier who started Rococo was inspired to become a chocolatier by Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So for the 100th birthday, he's invented all sorts of flavors. So I got Mr. Twit's Beery Breakfast, which has freshly picked crunchy bits of cereal, honey, and smoked tea. Rob Scottle and Snoz Cucumber that has lots of colors and raspberry, strawberry, cucumber, and mint, which sounds intriguing in a chocolate. And then this one I got from my mom. Hi mom. George's Marvelous Medicine. It's white chocolate with fennel and aniseed and she absolutely loves black licorice which has that fennel aniseed flavor so I thought she might like that. So I just gotta get it home. That'll be a trick because it's like 85 degrees today. I got the Roald Dahl Marvelous Coloring Book that has all sorts of really, really cool pictures inspired by his stories because I just couldn't say no. I was going to but then I figured why? This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity to be here, so why not get the things that I want? Finally, by the door, I noticed these boxes and there was a shirt sitting on top. That was the sweatshirt version of what I'm about to show you and I couldn't not have it, so I asked. And it's so brand new that they don't even have it in their system yet, but they sold it to me anyways. It's a Matilda bookworm t-shirt. And it's so perfect and so comfy and I couldn't not have it, so I got it. I mean, this is literally the most perfect t-shirt the most perfect souvenir I could take back from today because I am a bookworm and Tilda's my favorite and it's the whole reason I'm here today. So that's my story. Yeah, it's only one o'clock. I'm gonna mosey on back to the train station to stop off at those few spots on the way. Um, and I think I'm just gonna take it easy at the hotel today because I'm still tired. I'm still kind of not hungover with thread, jet lag. 
So I think I'm gonna go back to the hotel and just watch some Doctor Who and edit all of this. And so you'll get like three or four videos of today. Yeah, that's my plan so that I don't get too exhausted the rest of the trip. All right, so the first thing I found, I skipped a butcher's, I have no desire to see that. This is the crown house. This is the house that inspired the orphanage in the BFG, the house where Sophie lived as an orphanage. The next stop is one building down from the crown house. It is the red fuel pumps that were featured in the story Danny, the champion of the world, which you know how much I love that story, inspired the filling station where Danny and his dad worked. So it's just the old pumps. It used to be an old gas station. Of course, it doesn't work anymore. The sign on the door says out of fuel ever since eight gallons cost over a pound, which I think is funny. So we're going to continue on our trip. I found the library. And not only is it a library, it is the library where Matilda hangs out when her mom is off at Bingo. Matilda comes here and reads all the books and there's a special little section devoted to Matilda. I did go inside, I'll insert those clips here instead of the correct order that I experienced them. Aha, power of editing. Over this way is the post office where Roald Dahl's mail came. And so I'm going to go in there and mail a postcard. And I keep looking at the screen, I'm sorry. I will learn. But for now, just deal with it. Just cracks me up and makes me so happy all at the same time. I'm heading back to the train station after my fun time in Great Nissenden. The Roald Dahl Museum was so much fun. Definitely more for children. But if you are a Roald Dahl fan, I think you'll still enjoy it because I really enjoyed it. Tips, go first thing in the morning because there was like nobody else there and I had free reign to take as long as I wanted, trying not to get run over. I had free reign to do as I wanted and spend as much time as I wanted and take all the picture and video I wanted. So that was really, really, really cool. I can see if there was a lot of kids or there were school groups there by the time you got there. It would be a tad bit more annoying. It is really small, there's only three rooms. One is boy about his stories at school. The next is going solo about his time in the war. It also has this writing hut there. And then the other is kind of like an exploratory experiential thing where you can write and create. And all in all, it was really, really cool. at the train station so the museum was really cool definitely more suited for children but there's some really good stuff in there for adults as well I love seeing his writing hut that was the highlight of the trip for me and all of the other little things it was just very well done so I think that's gonna be it for today's vlog thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this this was definitely a great way to spend Roald Dahl's birthday oh also today is September 13th and it is also supernatural day hence the supernatural earrings and my the road so far t-shirt to pay homage to Supernatural as well. So yeah, thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, stay around because there are more exciting Roald Dahl videos coming along the rest of this week, two weeks. There's a lot more coming. I don't know which ones will let me actually film and which ones won't. I know like Dinner at the Twit, you're not allowed to take pictures or video, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Stay tuned. Either way, have a whiz-banging great day. Bye.